Hello everyone, uh, my name is Kwan. Uh, this video is about Swift uh, programming language. Uh, today, topic will be uh, some function on the array like filters, map, sort, reduce. So these are the function of method op operate on an array. Right. In the first example, we have an array uh, containing uh, quite a uh, number of integers. The first task we do is that we're going to select uh, the integer uh, between 80 and 90. So we can use uh, filters. And zero here is the items. You know, the filter basically create a loop, and each loop it call an item. Like the first loop is 90, 99, 90. So each loop it replaced uh, the item with dollar sign zero. And here we set the condition is dollar sign bigger than 80 and dollar sign less than 90. So we pick the number between 80 and 90. So that's what we get, uh, 87 and 82. Let's say if you want to select just the number larger than 80, then we should have a lot more number, 99. So this is a number larger than 90. That's how we use uh, the filters. Now the next command is uh, map. Okay. Now in this uh, command here, we want to multiply every integer uh, in this array by two, so we say maps and it's created a loop and zero zero dollar zero mean every item here multiplied by two. So as you can see, 99 here multiplied by two is 189, 90 multiplied by two is 180. And so that's how the basic of using maps. Uh, the next one is sorting. So here we say sort uh, and dollar size zero less than dollar sign one as as you can see the number is increasing uh, from small to large number now we can reverse this uh, polarity so it will decrease so from 99 so this is the, how you select the order of sorting and the last one reduce reduce basically take an array reduce the number so here we say that we're going to add all these numbers together. So here we assign the initial value is uh, 0. Then we add the two number adjacent number together. And if you add all of this, it will be uh, 554. Uh, so far in the file command here, we use dollar sign 0 to do an operation on the element of the array. Uh, actually, we don't need to use dollars zero. We can replace uh, like, use like any variable like we, here we use x. So instead of uh, dollar size zero larger than 80, we say x in x larger than 80. So instead of dollar size zero, we use x. Similarly in maps, uh, instead of using dollar zero, we can say map x in x multiplied by two. Same thing for sort. Uh, here we basic sort, we need uh, two uh, temporary variable. Right? So we have an x, y. We say x, y less than in x less than y and we have this we sort them uh, of course we can change clarity around and then we see that it's sorted in the decreasing order uh, similarly for reduce uh, instead of using dollar size plus zero plus dollar size one we can use x y in x plus y so you have a choice to use dollar zero or just any variable that's of your choosing. Uh, on the function reduce here, here we do the uh, sum of those integers in the array. Uh, we can do the multiplication. So I put a sign up here. Uh, 
Well, I, the stagnant seed number should be 1 because you multiply by 0, everything will be 0. So if you want to apply on integer, that's the number you get. Uh, in fact, you don't need to put those. That's a shortcut. You can just... You can say number. Uh, similarly, you can do plus 0 right down here. And you get 56. And here's the initial number. If I add 100, uh, 1000 is going to be uh, 1564 instead of 1556, 564. Uh, in the next example, we're going to pipe this uh, command together, create a pipe, uh, create a command change. First, we select the few term, we select, and we map, and we uh, operate the element, and we sort. And we don't, in this case, we don't care, but we sort anyway. And finally, we reduce, and we get a number. So this is the beauty of uh, this for function. You can uh, chain together those commands. So for example, here we have uh, uh, the filter on the number bigger than 89, and we got those two number. So we can grab this one, and we can pipe in here. So here we select those uh, number bigger than 89, and we multiply on those number by two. So that's why you get this number. So then uh, let's say we sort here doesn't matter because we add anyway, so but let's do it. Uh, we're gonna copy this one, control C, and we're gonna pipe. So let's reverse the around. So doesn't matter. We just wanna see the command change. So we see that 180 now instead of the way around. And finally, we reduce. Copy this one. Control C. V. So basically, this command is the same thing down here. So when you do that, you get the same number. And in some time that you have to do multiple filter or multiple map and multiple source. So that's very, uh, if you work on the array, these four commands are very useful in terms of uh, database or data manipulation. Uh, in the next example, we have a uh, quick uh, introduction uh, of sorting of a dictionary. Here we have a dictionary. Here we have key and have value. First, we want to sort the key. Uh, we say sort AR key, and you can see uh, in alphabetically order Bob, Jim, Lou, Moi. Uh, similarly, we can sort by value. So here the uh, value 9. 79 is the largest number, it keeps decreasing in order. Uh, in the typical code, probably you write something like this, uh, but Xcode uh, does not bring out, we do the print line. So here we try to put into a string so we can bring it out. Uh, here we do a sort key and we bring it out. You see the Bob, Jim, Lou. And here we uh, sort them by the uh, value itself, not, not by the key, by the value. So we uh, do the ARR, dollar sign 0, against ARR, dollar sign 1. You see Tom, Tom should have a larger number. Tom is 79, should be the larger number. Jim should be the lowest number, 45. Jim, 45. Of course, you can reverse the way around. If Jim has the lowest number, and Tom has high number, increasing value number. Uh, in the next example, we have uh, an array of two here, and we each record has a name, age, and salary. Uh, our first task is to, cut, is to figure out who makes the salary between 60 and 80. So we use the filter and zero salary and 0 dot 2 the same thing 0 1 2 you can 
put your the salary here so you can here so who make um, less than 80 and bigger than 60 and the output is Tom and Joe Tom is 67 so that's within this number similar Joe is 77 uh, for example we just take out one condition now who would make the more than 60,000 three so if we okay, who make more than 10 to be everyone and who make then that more than 100,000 to be zero so we use the filters and map to bring out names there uh, on the next thing is that uh, we want to figure out what is the who make more than average salary uh, the first step we need to do is, is to find out the average of this salary so we add on those two number and we divide by number of person this is t3 we say map salary so we take on the salary out then we reduce okay we add we calculate the sum here and finally we divide into the array counts of number of people here here and we get the average of 64,200 uh, to figure out who make more than average uh, basically the filter salary and t is the average so one we fire that filter that out and to bring the name out Uh, in the like example, we uh, find out who make more than average uh, salary. We average sixty-eight thousand, and Joe and Rob. Joe, we uh, make ninety-seven is bigger. That's why please it here. Now, uh, if you look at the age of Joe is eighty-six, way past his retirement. So, in the next example, we uh, we don't we don't want to take a Joe record into figure out the average. So down here we say array filter. If the name is not Joe, then we add on the salary. If it's Joe, then we don't take it. Okay. So this is the filter to eliminate Joe. And the average, the new average is sixty-one thousand. is smaller than sixty-eight thousand dollars. Here we say, hey, hey, who make the um, salary bigger than the a the new average? And it's not Joe, okay. So here we got the two new members. Tom, Tom is 67, so larger than 61. So that's why Tom is list down here. Uh, and the last I then want to do in this video is sorting by uh, the salary, uh, just like sorting in the uh, dictionary. Uh, the first thing we uh, sort array by the salary so dollar size zero salary against dollar one salary and you get the order and here we just bring out the order because you can't uh, join 97 is make uh, the most amount of money next is rock because we can change this guy around so Bob uh, make thirty four thousand dollars. So more. So that's the increasing order of salary. Uh, in here we just concatenate the uh, rank together, just like above here. We just add in. Uh, here we the result is Bob's so the lowest number. We don't want to take Bob, so we filter Bob out. So we have the uh, the name change. Thank you for watching the, this video.